sections allow further modularization. Consider this view. This is a view page. Now if you want to partition this view page then we can use section. Now this view page has two partitions. One is this global partition and the other is a sub partition. See this another view. In this we can make three partitions. This is section. This is section. So this is the global area and inside it we have made one partition this, another partition this. So we have two, two sections and three partitions of, the, of a view. By making these sections you can prevent this section from being rendered in the render body tag. On our layout we have a render body which replaces the entire content of this view. But if we do not want this part to go there and only want the outer part to go there then we should divide our view into sections. In this view inside the render body the entire content will go except the content inside the section. So this allows you further modularity. You can prevent certain areas of a view from going into the render body tag. Consider this case. This is a layout page. And this is one view. This is another view. In this view I have made a partition called S1 and in this view there is a partition called S2. When I call render body, then entire content in this area, this will be replaced here. And if this view is displayed, then this shaded portion, this one will be replaced here. S1 and S2 won't be placed into the render body. But if I want these S1 or S2 to be rendered, then I must use at the rate render section and pass in the name of the section that I want to be rendered there. So if I write at the rate render section S1 then this area will go there. All views that have a section called S1 will find their S1 going into this area. If I write at the rate render section S2 then any view that has a section called S2 defined will find its S2 substituted here. So this allows you to achieve further level of modularity. It is up to your imagination how to use this feature in your case. But here you should be careful in this example that this example will definitely give rise to an exception. Why? because I am writing at the rate render section S1. It is ok for this one because it has a section called S1 but this view doesn't have any section called S1. So when this view will be attached to this layout then this line will give error. This line will give error because S1 is not available in this. So how to solve this problem? Let us see a practical example. Here we have a view. In this we are showing some data here and we have defined a section called ADVT inside this view. This is the definition of that section. At the rate section ADVT. This contains some advertisement. Now when render body tag, when render body is encountered in the layout page then this will not go there, only this portion will go there. So this is the complete that you can see here. At the rate section ADVT. So this shows some H2, H2 and this ADVT is the name of this section. 
So if we were to draw a diagram, then this view has a story like this. This is ADVT and this is the global part. This part will go into render, render body and this one should go into render section. So let us see how this one will be accommodated in the layout page. Inside the layout page, this is the render body. So all the portion that is not inside the section will appear here. And we have another uh, at the rate render section here. The first argument is the name of the section and the second argument says whether it is optional or not. If there is a view that does not have a section called ADVT. If there is a view that doesn't have a section called ADVT then this line will give error if the second argument is true. True means that it is compulsory and false means that it is optional if a view doesn't have a section called ADVT then no content replacement will occur. The name of the section and make it true if it is to be set compulsory so that an exception is thrown if it is not found on the view. So that can help you in debugging your application or if you have a requirement then you can set it to true although mostly it should be set to false only. So if we run the above application the output should look like this. This is an area which represents the advertisement section and we uh, can see that this will appear only if an ADVT is defined inside the view.